In this example, a photon strikes a nucleus, initially at rest, and creates electron-positron pair at rest. We shall show that the energy of the photon, in this case, is twice the rest energy of the electron. To do so, we first proceed by the law of conservation of energy, which gives the following. Using the assumption in the given, that the rest energy of the nucleus is much higher than the energy of the photon, then the nucleus will not attain relativistic speeds, and we can make the classical approximation of the kinetic energy to get the following result. In order to show that the energy of the photon is twice the rest energy of the electron, we shall be able to show by some means that the kinetic energy of the nucleus, after the collision, should be negligible. To do so, we proceed by the law of conservation of momentum as follows. Before the collision, the nucleus had no velocity, so its momentum is zero. After the collision, the electron-positron pair was created at rest, so the pair also has zero momentum. Again, I shall take the classical form of the momentum. Now squaring both sides, then dividing by m node, we get the following result. Replacing our result in equation 1 we get the following. Now using the assumption in the given, we can safely drop out the fraction of kinetic energy. So we are left by the following result, which represents the threshold energy of the photon to create an electron-positron pair.